Hello everyone today's topic is all about mucormycosis. Mucormycosis is an uncommon life-threatening fungal infection that occurs mostly in immunocompromised or trauma patients and otherwise called zygomycosis or a black fungus. Where it comes from? Mucormycosis are present throughout the environment, particularly in soil and in association with decaying organic matter, such as leaves, compost piles, and animal dung. What predisposes? Patient with uncontrolled diabetes mellitus. Immunosuppression by steroids. Prolonged ICU stay patients. Comorbidities, post-transplant, malignancy and patient on voriconasal therapy etc. What are types of mucormycosis? Rhinocerebral mucormycosis. Pulmonary mucormycosis. Gastrointestinal mucormycosis. Cutaneous mucormycosis and disseminated mucormycosis. Rhinocerebral mucormycosis is an infection in the sinuses that can spread to the brain, commonly in uncontrolled diabetes and renal transplant patients. Pulmonary mucormycosis is the most common type of mucormycosis and it occurs in people with cancer and in people who have had an organ transplant or a stem cell transplant. Gastrointestinal mucormycosis is more common in young children, especially premature and low birth weight infants less than one month of age who have had antibiotics or surgery. Cutaneous or skin mucormycosis occurs after the fungi enter the body through a break in the skin, for example, after surgery, a burn, or other type of skin trauma. Disseminated mucormycosis occurs when the infection spreads through the bloodstream to affect another part of the body. It affects the brain and other organs such as the spleen, heart, and skin. Sinuses or lungs of such individuals get affected after fungal spores are inhaled from the air. What are the warning signs and symptoms of mucormycosis? Pain and redness around eyes and nose. Fever. Headache. Coughing. Shortness of breath. Bloody vomits and altered mental status. When to suspect? Sinusitis, nasal blockade or congestion, nasal discharge, blackish slash bloody, local pain on the cheekbone. One-sided facial pain, numbness or swelling. Blackish discoloration over bridge of nose slash palate. Blurred or double vision with pain, fever, skin lesion, thrombosis and necrosis, escar. Chest pain, pleural effusion, hemoptysis, worsening of respiratory symptom. How to prevent? Use masks if you are visiting dusty construction sites. Wear shoes, long trousers, long sleeve shirts and gloves, while handling soil, gardening, moss or manure. Maintain personal hygiene including thorough scrub bath. Control hyperglycemia. Monitor blood glucose level. Use steroid judiciously, correct timing, correct dose and duration. Use clean, sterile water for humidifiers during oxygen therapy. Use antibiotics and antifungals judiciously. Treatment of mucormycosis. Antifungal medicine, usually amphotericin B, posaconazole, or isovaconazole. Extensive surgical debridement, to remove all necrotic.